Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I have here to look at a Land Rover Defender. Okay, inside the car we don't have any warning lights on but we do have 82,000 kilometers. We'll get it plugged in. Okay, so we're using the launch Euro scan tool and this is 2020 model and it's got the 2 litre diesel 204 DT. We'll go with this one. We might have to connect the Wi Fi to this. to connect the Wi-Fi and start this again if, the, if it doesn't work. So the customer has been clearing faults but hopefully we've got something back which is here. Gear shift control. Rear view mirror and the engine control is the one we're going to be looking at, which is P049B00 insufficient flow from the exhaust gas temperature, sorry, EGR valve, exhaust gas recirculation. Go to the data stream. Okay, we've got loads of information up on live data, so we're just going to have a look at, through. See what everything's doing. Sixteen grams of soot. Let's hold the revs up a bit. See, is that in increasing or decreasing? So it's decreasing. Minus 100. So we have 3000 RPM, 8 millibars or 8 HPA pressure. Oh, that's the low pressure EGR, so that's, sorry I thought that was the DPF there for a minute, it's not. Where is the DPF here? Why have we got zero there? One, which is 10. So we need almost 4,000 RPM before we get sort of 20 millibars. One, two is basically 10 increments. So it looks like we have a cracked EPF. Okay, so we're at the back of the car. Yeah, it looks like we have a, a cracked EPF. The soot is breaching. Now the reason why the DPF is related to the EGR is, is there is gonna be a pipe somewhere. It's, it, up there a little bit further but after the DPF you'll have a exhaust pipe so a smaller version of it come back to the engine so if the DPF is cracked soot gets gets passed and it goes into the EGR pipe which then blocks the little filter okay so yeah it's a 2 litre Ingenium I've not seen one of these before but they can't be that they must be a little bit more reliable in the Defender because we don't see them that often DPF is over here, it's got the bigger version of the DPF than you do get in the Evolves and Discovery Sport. Just trying to see if we can see the 
the recirculation pipe that comes back. Yeah, so there it is, it comes back to the intake. And then just inside here, you've got a low pressure EGR filter. This is your low pressure EGR, you've got a little filter gauze inside here which gets blocked. The soot from the DPF gets inside that and just blocks it up. Um, so unfortunately it's going to need a new gauze in here, a new DPF to, to fix it. Have a look at the oil pressure. A little bit high, it's not stupidly high, but it's a bit high. Yeah, it's two litre ingenium, it's not a, not a great engine for these cars. Okay, so unfortunately, that one needs a new DPF and the EGR, like I've said, and it's quite an expensive bill on that, so it doesn't look like you'll be having it done. He said he might just trade it back to Land Rover. Now, the two litre in these is, is a really bad engine. If you've seen my videos before, you'd probably know um, two litre ingenium. There's a lot of lot of history about these engines all over in, all over the internet, not just my videos. So, if you are looking at a Land Rover Defender, I would strongly suggest you look at the three liter version instead of the two liter. Um, that also goes for the Land Rover. Um, which ones are fitted with the two liter? Uh, so, of course, you can't get a three liter in the Evogue. You can't get a three liter in the Discovery Sport. But in the Velar, if you're going to get a Velar. I'd go with the three liter version. Um, so that's about it. It's um, PO4MB, if I've described it right, is obviously the DPF cracks, the soot then comes past the DPF and circulates back to the EGR. And then before the EGR, you've got a little filter that blocks up. And it's quite a common issue with them. Of course, with this engine, because it's the rear wheel drive, it's got the, the bigger DPF at the front of the engine. So it's not so common on these, but it still happens, as you can see. So I'll see you on the next video. Again.